Did you know that, there's a staggering distance of 547 million kilometers, between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter? This vast space is filled with thousands of minor planetary bodies, composed of rock and metal, ranging from tiny specks of dust, to hundreds of kilometers wide. These bodies are believed to be, the remnants of solar material, that never united into a proper planet. They orbit around the Sun, colliding with each other, and continually breaking down into smaller pieces. Larger ones are called asteroids, while smaller ones, when captured by Earth, are referred to as meteorites. These asteroids orbit the Sun, along with other debris, within a disk-shaped area called the asteroid belt. Each year, thousands of asteroid fragments enter Earth's atmosphere, creating a luminous trail across the sky, known as a meteor or shooting star. These objects are typically the size of a grain of sand, or a pebble, and burn up during their journey. However, larger objects, that survive the flight and impact Earth's surface, are known as meteorites. Meteorites are any solid materials that fall to Earth, the Moon, or other celestial bodies from space. With over 40,000 recorded meteorite findings, and nearly a thousand new discoveries each year, the study of these extraterrestrial materials, continues to captivate scientists. Meteorites are composed of a mixture of iron, nickel, and rock-forming minerals. They are broadly categorized based on the abundance of metal, and stone minerals they possess. Meteorites are primarily classified into the following three groups. Iron meteorites consist mostly of metal, while stony iron meteorites are composed of, almost equal amounts of metal, and silicate crystals. Lastly, the stony meteorites are made up of, silicate minerals. Now, let's delve into the topic of comets. Long ago, comets were a source of wonder and fear for people. They were seen as long-haired stars, that would suddenly and unexpectedly appear in the sky. Chinese astronomers kept extensive records for centuries, including illustrations of characteristic types of comet tails, times of cometary appearances and disappearances, and celestial positions. Later, astronomers have found these historical records of comets, to be a valuable resource. We know now that the comets are the remnants of our solar system, dating back 4.6 billion years. They are primarily comprised of ice, with a coating of dark organic matter. They have been dubbed as dirty snowballs, due to this composition. These celestial objects, offer valuable insights into the creation of our solar system. It's possible that, comets played a role in delivering water, and organic compounds, which serve as the foundation of life, to the Earth, as well as other parts of our solar system. The comets are made up of a small frozen nucleus, which is usually just a few kilometers in diameter, containing frozen gases, ices, and dust. As a comet approaches the sun, it heats up, and the ices start to vaporize, resulting in the development of an atmosphere called, a coma. The sun's heat converts the ices into gases, causing the coma to expand, sometimes reaching hundreds of thousands of kilometers. The pressure of sunlight and solar wind can push the coma's dust and gas, away from the sun, resulting in the formation of a bright, long tail. Comets typically originate from the farthest regions of our solar system, where they spend the majority of their time. Scientists refer to this region as the Oort Cloud, which extends from the Kuiper Belt, approximately halfway to the nearest star. The distance that comets can travel is immense. It can be hundreds of thousands of times, greater than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The comets circle around the Sun, on million-year-long orbits, and slowly travel back into the inner areas of the solar system. You can pause this video to explore some fascinating facts about comets and meteorites.